Good morning, everybody. It's just after the new year, and I just recently picked this machine up, kind of by choice. I was looking at this way back when I had bought the rigid 4-gallon, 5-horsepower wet dry vac that I had posted a video of recently that I still love. It's a great machine, but at the time I was also looking at something that had a more portable factor to it. Um, at the end of the day, I ended up not going with a battery-powered machine just because um, I, it was summertime. I was still able to go outside and spend a little bit um, out there time-wise to be able to make sure my cars were cleaned very nicely. So it wasn't a high priority to get the cordless. <clears throat> now with it being wintertime, um, it's quite chilly outside. I live in the northeastern part of the United States. Of course, many people um, live out in the Midwest, or many people who live out in the Midwest would argue that that's probably one of the coldest places of the United States. But either way, right now, for instance, it's, let me check, um, it's like 27 degrees outside. Um, and we do get a lot of wind chill. We've been fortunate, though, to not have too bad of a um, windiness going on or a, a wind chill factor for the last couple weeks, but every once in a while it will pick up. So what my point is, I like having something that I can go outside, do my car quick pickup with and clean it quickly. So that way, um, I don't have to let it sit and wait until the weather gets warm again for me to be able to clean it. So why did I choose this model? First of all, it came with a free gift, which I will explain here in a second, but it's allegedly like a two and a half gallon, give or take, capacity. <clears throat> it's a wet dry vacuum. It is a Bosch cordless. That way you can use any Bosch lithium ion tool. I believe it has to be an 18 volt, but you press this button here on the side. Um, <clears throat> the door doesn't pop up if there's a battery in it. I don't know if that's a safety thing, but this is an 18 volt. Mm, probably won't be able to do it with one hand. Just a sec. There we go. It's a Bosch 18 volt 4 amp hour battery really nicely made. There's even a little gauge on it. You can see it's totally full. But I like that it has its own little door. You'd never even know that this was a um, a power tool um, or a, a Bosch tool that required like a lithium battery. Um, I think that that's really neat. The tool handle up here is very well built. This thing doesn't creak or anything anywhere. It's very solid, um, solidly made. <clears throat> we'll do a quick 360 of the machine. Over here on the side, you can see um, there's a little wing nut on here. That's what holds your, your hose caddy on the machine. This is probably one of the biggest... <clears throat> Just a sec. <clears throat> there we go. Not one of the biggest letdowns of the machine, but it's probably one of the biggest annoyances. You can see the hose comes right out the back of the vacuum right there. And essentially, you're supposed to be able to double wrap this. But when you wrap it around one time, there really isn't a lot of room to be able to tuck the hose back there very easily. <clears throat> So you're supposed to be able to do that and then pull this rubber um, cord thing up and over and hook it to that loop. I don't like putting that angle down on this hose. It's a wire reinforced hose, which um, there's pros and cons to that. I like the, the, the wire reinforced hose because for me, it's not constantly sticking up, moving around when you're trying to vacuum. It always lays down flat. If I'm over here trying to vacuum something up, you can see that whole rear of the hose is not moving. It really only moves closest to you, 
Whereas some of the other hoses that are a little bit lighter, like um, a crush proof hose, they are constantly flopping around um, because they're so lightweight, they're so rigid, and they tend to hit things and they tend to rub against stuff. This is a soft material. This isn't going to scratch anything when you're trying to vacuum out your car. Now, there's some downsides, as I said. If you were to step on this, you would probably ruin it. Um, if you were to put this up against something in the back of your truck and it was up against something heavy, it could potentially squish and ruin the hose. Does it mean that the vacuum won't clean anymore? No, but if you had like a um, a crush area here where you accidentally, you know, crushed it, there's potential for larger objects to get stuck there all the time and you'll have clog after clog after clog. So just be careful if you consider buying this. It does have a 360 degree swivel here and here. So double swivel on this. You get three extension wands with it as well. They're not super long individually, but when you put them all together, I'd say you could definitely clean with an attachment on it and the hose. This is about up to my halfway up to my pocket or halfway up to the top of my pocket. So I do like the extension wands. They all house on board. They all sit in the back of this caddy here. And then you can put the um, crevice tool inside of one of the wands. And then this piece here is what holds your upholstery tool. So everything's housed on board. For those of you who wonder, well, if you don't like the hose caddy, how do you wrap the hose on this? So I have not actually used this to clean up a real mess yet. But what I do is, is I usually set this um, up and around the top. I'll show you once I get it situated. Like this. <clears throat> I usually just do that. It's not the prettiest thing. That's actually not even touching the ground, but it holds it. And you can always still put your three extension wands in here. That'll hold that, even though, again, it's not going to move around. Just because I don't like that design that they have going on, I wouldn't be as concerned if it wasn't a piano, re um, a piano wire hose. But because it is, I'm not going to do that because these are prone to splitting. Now it sounds like I'm, oh my gosh, it's piano wire. It could be crushed. Now you're saying it could split. It's not likely, <clears throat> but because this is considered a power tool, because you pick this up, you buy it in the power tool section, it requires Bosch power tool batteries. Most people are going to buy this for heavy duty cleaning, um, portable wet dry pickup. I will never pick anything wet up inside this. We've never used a wet dry vac to pick up water, but some people may want to use it for like soil. Um, <clears throat> they may want to pick up sawdust and nails and um, just dryer lint, things like that. That, Or even if you're going to take this to a job and you're using it for certain things, um, it's going to probably get thrown around. It's durable. It'll be fine. I'm sure that it will be fine for the amount of time that you use it. You'll definitely get your money's worth. I just like to be on the more cautious side. Do what you like. It's your own money. It wouldn't keep me from purchasing this machine. <clears throat> we can move around. I'm going to pop the hose off of this. It's very simple to do. There's just two of these um, red pincher clips here. Very easy to take off. You can see it has like a nice rubber seal. So to take off the, the bucket, there are two latches. I did turn it on just for a quick second to um, <clears throat> 
try it out in my basement next to our washing machine. So I guess technically I have used it, though this was a quick pass that I did. Um, it does use a cartridge filter, as you can see. It's got a nice gasket up here. It's not this piece here. It's up above it. Nice gasket. And I like how it's a totally round bucket. You can actually face this any which way. It doesn't matter. There's no front. There's no back. Um, very thick plastic bucket. And this is purposefully um, textured. So you can't really see what's on the inside. Um, it, it's kind of like a doctor's office, um, glass opaque sort of thing going on. And like I said, this doesn't really matter which way you put it on. It just sits on the bucket nice and easy. And then it, it holds itself very well. You have a battery gauge on this as well. When you turn it on, it goes up and then it down and then it shows the battery, the full battery. So it's got a slow start. This button is squishy. It's really not loud either. What I want to do is I want to take um, some stuff and just do a quick vacuuming with it with the different tools. So I'll be right back and set up a little bit of a pickup. So I set up some rolled oats, they're uncooked of course, um, here on the carpet, over here to use the crevice tool, and I put some over here on the floor. Now with a normal wet dry vac, they're always straight suction. You're not going to be vacuuming anything up that is, you know, tough dirt. It's usually for surface pickup. So that's why um, I've set it up this way. This is probably the most you'll see. This Bosch claims to have cyclonic technology. They don't they don't call it cyclonic, they call it something else. But the only reason why a vacuum cleaner has cyclonic technology in a cartridge filter like this is because the vacuum motor spins in a circle, of course, and the bucket is shaped like a circle. So it's going to move with the movement of the motor. It's not an intentional thing. It just happens to do that. So companies like to slap that on the box. Um, the next thing I wanted to state was, which I should have mentioned this with the battery, the Bosch tools, um, the Bosch batteries, they claim this vacuum will run four minutes per amp hour. So because I have a four amp hour battery, that's going to be 14 minutes. Um, the free gift that I had mentioned was a four amp hour battery and a battery charger. So when I did the pickup in store, I ordered online. It was ready in 20 minutes for me to pick up in the store. I went over and I bought it, but they grouped it together. So this machine is only available in a bare tool only. It will never come with a um, battery. Most of the time they, they do that because People will buy additional tools to add onto their sets, um, and you don't usually need a battery for each tool. Of course, this is my only Bosch 18 volt. I own some 12 volt model um, tools, but the, you can't use the batteries with these, or interchangeably, you have to use an 18 volt with this. But the battery and the battery charger was a separate item that Bosch just happened to group. So they had to pull two items, this and that battery and battery charger separately because it was like a bonus thing that they were running at Lowe's at the time. This vacuum was like $130, $140. The charger and battery were about the same price, maybe an additional 10 bucks. So I really saved big. I would not have bought this if I had to buy that separately. And this is not the first time I've seen those two items paired together from Lowe's. I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, I still think it's a great value. So let's get to some cleaning. So I've got the upholstery tool. It's a pretty decent size upholstery tool. Upholstery tool. You can see it's about the size of my hand. So let's turn it on. Yeah. 
this is my first time using this upholstery tool. Overall, it did a great job. Now I'm going to use the wands with the upholstery tool because this did not come with a floor tool. It's not really meant to be used as a full size um, shop vac, of course. Okay, so that's the first time I've actually picked up visible dirt with this thing. And overall, I've got to say, I am pretty impressed with it. This thing's got a good amount of suction power and airflow. They claim it's about 50 or so CFM, which is pretty good for a bagless battery powered vacuum. Um, but for a shop vac or a wet dry vac, they usually do have very high CFM. The other reason why I bought this machine was because of how long this hose is. The hose itself is about four or five feet long, so you can easily, easily set this in the passenger side of your car. We have about seven, eight foot ceilings or so, and you can see this thing will reach almost to the very top of our ceiling, which is pretty impressive for a bagless and a lightweight um, cordless wet dry vac. Most of the ones that you see out there on the market have these very short hoses. The vacuum really needs to be sitting right next to the job because the hose is about two or three feet long, which is just not adequate. This, you can set it in your passenger seat, your driver's seat, wherever. You can even set it on the ground if you've got a car or an SUV and face the hose outlet towards the door and you can easily clean into all the crevices that your car has. My only gripe would be I wish they had a more car geared upholstery tool and I wish they had a dusting brush or a brush that had some sort of um, hair or like bristles on it for being able to loosen up dirt or just being able to clean off some dusty places that are inside your car, get in between like buttons and stuff. Of course, this isn't geared towards somebody who wants to buy it for a car. It's not claim to be a car vacuum, but I um, specifically picked it up for that because it's very hard to find cordless vacuums with hoses unless you go the wet dry vac route. So overall, I'm very pleased with this vacuum. I would recommend it to anybody longevity wise. I don't think that you'll have any issues because it doesn't have an internal battery. You can always buy a replacement battery with this. And if you have Bosch tools, this is a great addition to throw onto your tool line that you have at home. Um, the power is great. The tools that come with it are great. You can put a lanyard on it here and oop, here. So it makes it very easy to be to port it or yeah, port it around. But all of the things that it comes with are contained on the vacuum itself. So I give it an easy five out of five stars. Even for the show, the few downfalls that I had mentioned, again, it's not enough for me to say, oh, I don't like it or I wouldn't buy it because of this. So 
If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment um, and let me know what you think. There's not a lot of videos on this um, on YouTube, so I apologize if I didn't go cover something or answer something that you guys were hoping to find in this video. But otherwise, thanks for watching and stay tuned.